Item number SCP-5836. Index to Nobel Peace You Must Prepare for War. Secure containment procedures. All instances of SCP-5836 are to be kept in a secure anomalous item locker in the hazardous materials wing of Site-73. Due to a limited supply, testing with SCP-5836 must be approved by the site director and at least one level 4 researcher. Mnestics are to be administered after every test in order to counteract the cognitohazardous effects of SCP-5836 activation. Description SCP-5836-1-13 refers to individual instances of nitroglycerin dynamite with 15 cm black powder fuses and standard copper and mercury nitrate blasting caps. When an instance of SCP-5836 is detonated via its attached fuse and blasting cap, any person who visually perceives the ensuing explosion will lose all knowledge of any of Alfred Burnham Nobel's patents, other than the patent for nitroglycerin dynamite. This effect is retained in video recordings of the detonations. Note, replacing the wick or blasting cap, or detonating via other means, has produced only a standard dynamite explosion. Discovery. The effects of SCP-5836 were discovered when G Lilliard, a history student studying Nobel's legacy at the University of Minnesota Rochester campus. Viewed footage of an early test detonation, presumably involving an instance of SCP-5836. Following the viewing, Lilliard began shouting at his roommate, claiming that he had forgotten months of study in an instant, and would never have time to study Nobel's 300-some-odd patents before the presentation on Monday. Note, there are over 350 patents in Alfred Nobel's name, a majority of which are for weapons. Lilliard was given a drug screening and sent to an on-campus counselor under the assumption that he was suffering a pre-finals nervous breakdown, an occurrence common among college students. Foundation assets within the faculty were alerted when Lilliard repeatedly insisted that the cause behind his sudden selective amnesia was the contents of the video he had watched. MTF Sigma 39 got a light was dispatched to search Nobel's collected belongings to ascertain the source of the anomalous effects. Addendum 5836-A The following is a handwritten journal entry discovered among the positions recovered by MTF Sigma 39 from the Nobel Prize Museum in Stockholm, Sweden. It was found inside a wooden crate containing 20 instances of SCP-5836. Sunday, 15th April. 1888. Two days ago, I read a surprising obituary. My own, my brother Ludwig, God rest his soul, passed on Thursday. Several prominent French newspapers mistakenly assumed that it was I who had passed. One of them printed the statement, Le Marchand de la Mort est mort, which I believe translates roughly to The Merchant of Death has died. The Merchant of Death. I have created so many tools, both those of war and those of industry. But for me to be named thus, it has given me pause. It has made me think about the legacy of the Nobel name, and my role in that legacy. I do not wish for our name to be thought of alongside war and death. My father and brother, rest their souls, deserve far better than that. It has been said that to know peace, you must first prepare for war. I have spent my life creating weapons of war. Perhaps it is time to embrace peace. <laughs>